So I'm replacing this uh, really old rotted cedar fence. Uh, first step is uh, taking it down. I don't know if I mentioned before, but I've got this bright string tied around my crowbar just so it's easier to find when I lay it on the ground. for me to watch. As I take down the fence here, you can see what the ivy was like before I removed it from our side. That tangled mess is the reason we called our place Ivy Acres Homestead.
The first few 4x4 posts weren't set in concrete, so they were pretty easy just to wiggle out of the ground. Looks like most of the rest of them are set in concrete, so I'm just going to cut them off as close as I can to ground level.
the uh, four by four posts were pressure treated and they actually do have some life left in them, but uh, obviously they're not gonna be long enough to reuse for this fence. I'll find something else to do with them. Um, most of the cedar boards are probably just rotted out garbage, but some of them might be uh, usable as uh, rustic birdhouses or who knows what. Uh, so I'll just have to pull out nails and, and separate good ones from bad ones. It's, uh, it's good to finally get this project underway. I've got a pile of uh, garbage boards here from the uh, fence. Good for nothing but uh, throwing them away. And uh, they're too long to fit in the garbage can. So I'm just going to cut them up here and uh, throw them in some of these crates we've got back here because it's going to take several weeks to... Uh, get rid of all this stuff in the garbage. I actually ended up keeping quite a bit of this uh, scrap that wasn't moss encrusted or uh, full of nails as firewood. There's also a lot more of these uh, old cedar fence boards that were still in good enough shape to keep and it will it'll probably take me a while to figure out what to do with all this stuff. But for now, I'll just keep it over here. <laughs> 